is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in the new 2019 volkswagen golf gti rabbit edition i'll have you know courtesy of sutliff volkswagen in harrisburg pa and of course with it being a brand new trim level for 2019 i had to have the rabbit edition so let me jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so of course there will be several different trim levels for the 2019 golf gti first one being the s that is going to start at $27,595. Then you have the Rabbit Edition, the one we have today. That one starts at $28,895. Then the SE for $31,795. And lastly, the Autobahn, that one's going to start at $35,995. But regardless of trim level, the power plant on the 2019 Golf GTI will be the same. Powering this one this year is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out eight more horsepower than it did in the 2018 model year coming in at 228 horsepower 4700 rpm 258 pound feet of torque available at 1500 rpm power again sent to the front wheels through your choice of either a six speed manual which we do have today or a seven speed automatic that one is optional but that actually gains an extra gear compared to the 2018 model year but so when you put all of that together zero to 60 time comes in at approximately six seconds flat with mpg numbers coming in at 24 city 32 on the highway Regular unleaded fuel is recommended. However, those horsepower numbers that I just gave you, Volkswagen does claim that premium unleaded is how they got those horsepower numbers in case you were interested. But either way, just to the left of the shifter, there are some driving modes available for this one, including eco, normal, and sport. So what do you say? Let's put it in that sport driving mode. And by the way, those driving modes are gonna adjust things like the throttle response, the shift points, if you go with the automatic at least, and actually also the steering sensitivity. And with it in sport mode, I can say the steering feel is quite Quite nice but nonetheless since we have an in sport driving mode here let's do a quick little acceleration now that we're at a red light here and let's see how quickly we can get this 2019 golf gti up to speed <laughs> Dang, man, this thing is fun. Definitely no issues with merging onto the highway, and I forgot how much freaking fun it is to row through your own gears, man. By the way, also worth mentioning, the shifter on the six-speed manual in the Golf is a golf ball, of course, and it's been that way for quite a while, honestly, but I always have to mention it because that is one of the coolest, unique features every single time I get into golf. I'm always a huge fan of the golf ball shifter. By the way, another thing I should mention, there was no torque steer there either, so that kind of impressed me as well. A lot of times with higher horsepower cars, with that power sent to the front wheels rather than all wheels let's say there is going to be a little bit of torque steer but with that acceleration i just did there with the golf gti there was none that's awesome and since we have the six speed manual here today as far as rowing through the gears absolutely no issues very easy to find the grab points and very much so a fun car to drive with this being a six-speed manual and a car i will say that you should not have any issues even learning to drive manual and if this is your first manual car but so then to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs with red brake calipers with the gti logo in them as well so that's definitely pretty cool in the back 12.2 inch ventilated rear discs and as far as the braking feel goes I've had no issues whatsoever in my short test drive today and then touching on suspension and handling a little bit the GTI of course will give you a sport tuned suspension and to go along with that a front limited slip differential as well probably helping me out with the lack of torque steer so that's definitely there for you as well and in a car like this limited slip differential is actually pretty important because not only will it help prevent that torque steer but it is going to give you better cornering abilities as well help sending torque to the wheel with the motion traction and overall a better acceleration as well and then just to come back to it because i always like giving it its own segment the steering feel is definitely on point with the golf gti especially in sport mode a very nice heavy steering feel nice weight to it i should say so definitely no issues there when it comes to cabin noise again i've had no issues ride quality definitely the same boat and honestly with compact cars you are going to feel a little more at the road but it isn't bad it's definitely as expected with this kind of car so touching on rear visibility this is a golf so visibility Visibility has always been on point in this one. Honestly, just about the best you can get as far as visibility goes, so no issues there. But 
enough with the driving dynamics you guys let's check out the exterior of this new 2019 volkswagen golf gti and so starting up front at first i want to mention towards the lower part of that front bumper you can see that intercooler tucked away just behind the front bumper of course with this being a turbocharged car that's why it's there of course but to the sides halogen headlights are going to come standard with the s trim level however if you went with the rabbit edition trim level or up you will get led headlights up there and either way standard setup is also going to give you led day time running lights along with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out the headlights will turn on automatically for you and that rabbit trim level and up is also going to give you fog lights just below the headlights as well and make your way to the side you will first find gti badging within that front fender also body colored side mirrors with integrated turn signals will come standard and you will actually get several black accents including black side mirrors if you went specifically with the rabbit edition all other trim levels are going to give you body colored side mirrors though they take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch five spoke alloy wheels will come standard for all trim levels but the rabbit edition that one is going to give you 18 inch split five spoke alloy wheels so same size either way just a slightly different design there but then swinging around to the back rear spoiler with an integrated brake light will come standard just below that a rear window wiper led tail lights also found back there along with gti badging and just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are around back to open that rear hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob, so simply just press that if you like. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 22.8 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, however, those rear seats do fold down. There is a 60-40 split, giving you a ton of added space if you needed it there. Then make your way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 35.6 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Also for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders for all trim levels. And those rear passengers will find rear ventilation if they look forward as well there. Then make your way to the front seats. Clark plaid cloth surfaces, my favorite seats on a Volkswagen is going to come standard with the S and the Rabbit Edition trim. So that is actually what you're looking at right now. By the way, these seats are bolstered very nicely as well. Most cars I review, you don't have this kind of aggressive bolstering. So definitely a fan of that. And by the way, those seats will come heated, but leather seating surfaces is actually going to come with the SE and the Autobahn if you wanted that. Again, those seats will be heated too. But in addition to that, the Autobahn trim level is also going to add 12-way power adjustable driver's seat. But taking a look forward at the steering wheel, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel that will come standard leather wrapped as well for all trim levels and when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here it actually is a fairly heavy key a nice weight to it so kind of heavy duty if you will but Volkswagen logo on the back there along with the GTI logo as well it's kind of cool and specific to the car we have today then when you flip it over lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and there is still that button that flips the key out although you don't need it because if you go with the rabbit trim level and up at least there is a push button start just to the left of the shifter there so all i am going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and clutch and press that engine start button located just to the left of the shifter and then once started up tachometer is going to be on your left speedometer is on your right there is a small digital display front and center giving you things like your outside temperature a digital speedometer what time of the day it is and of course your trip information then make our way to overall interior quality autobahn trim level is going to give you dual zone climate control however all trim levels are going to give you a illuminated door sills as well as ambient lighting definitely a sweet feature on all trim levels actually se trim level and up is also going to give you a panoramic sunroof if you wanted it there and overall again my favorite thing about the interior of this one is the clark plaid cloth seats on this one gotta love that design but now let's make our way to the tech display 6.5 inch color touchscreen display is going to come with the s and rabbit edition trims 8 inch color touchscreen display is going to come with the se and autobahn trim levels either way you do get bluetooth and audio streaming regardless of what setup you go with along with android auto and apple carplay that's always a big one for me you definitely come to love that factory navigation system is going to come with the autobahn trim level if you wanted it you can also check out your radio setting 
settings up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will get six speakers if you go with the S Rabbit or S E trim levels, and you will get an eight speaker Fender premium sound system if you go with the Autobahn. By the way, that comes with 400 watts and it's optional actually on the S E trim. But since we do have the Rabbit edition here today, what do you say? Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. The best that I'm getting on the internet and checking a new hit again. Actually, I gotta be honest, for a standard six speaker sound system, that is a ton loud. Definitely a good bit of bass as well. Not as much as you're gonna get with the Fender system, but very, very loud sound system for the size of the Golf. Kind of impressed. But so then last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display at least is when you do put the Golf GTI in reverse, and by the way, since we have the manual here, to put this one in reverse, simply press down on the shifter and push it into the upper left-hand corner. But with either transmission setup, you will get a rear view camera once put in reverse, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is all always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. Also in the back, there is latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard, a tire pressure monitoring system, as well as rain sensing windshield wipers. That is actually standard on every single trim level. It's gonna scare you at first, but then you're gonna get used to it and you're gonna absolutely love it. So that's pretty cool. Rabbit edition is gonna add forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, as well as pedestrian monitoring, so a good bit there with that trim. And lastly, the Autobahn trim level is going to add some more, including high beam control, adaptive cruise control, park assist, and park distance control. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay out.